Welcome to our new home! Woo! Woke up this morning With the sunrise in my eyes Just like a new day A breath of fresh air in my life I don't know how and don't know why But I'll, I'll be toasting all my life Hey guys, welcome to our new home. We are finally finished building this home after two years and we are ready to give you guys a home tour. Come on in. So this is our living room and as you can tell, it's really echoing in here right now because there's no furniture, but we have really tall ceilings with some beautiful beams on top and a beautiful chandelier that I love so much. Um, and then we have a really nice fireplace here with a mantle and some shelves and some dark cabinets and it's really just the aesthetic that we wanted to have for a nice big open family room that we can all gather in and enjoy together. Um, we also have this really beautiful white oak flooring and I love this flooring so much. I love that it's just light and bright and so this is something that we have throughout the house and I really love this choice. to the living room and the kitchen and I love that it's all just kind of open we can all see each other and be together from any of the rooms in the main part of the house and we have a little brass chandelier here that I love as a little touch here and then the windows that overlook the creek which we'll show you guys when we go outside in a little bit but here is our kitchen and this is probably my favorite part of the whole house so many hours went into planning and designing this kitchen and we're so happy with the way that it turned out. I think we had a lot of sleepless nights, at least I did. I don't know about you, Stephen. Yeah, but it was a little nuts. Yeah, I had a lot of sleepless nights just trying to make sure that we had all the details correct and that it was all gonna work together. And so I'm really glad that it just turned out as well as we hoped that it would. And I love especially this really big kitchen island where Absolutely. all the kids can sit around here. We need to get a few more bar stools. We only have four right now. So I just envision us having all the kids around the island while we're cooking and I love that the stove top is right here. That's the best part of the yes. entire kitchen for me is the stove top here facing yeah. out toward everybody instead mm -hmm. of facing the wall. We can all kind of feel like we're together as we're yeah. cooking. Like food is a big part of our family. Exactly. We all love to eat. We all love to enjoy uh, spending time together cooking and so this is really designed to be able to do that together. Yes. Um, and then I love these little pendants above the island here that are just kind of like a little grass a um, little bit of a boho vibe. I wanted to use like some different browns and tan colors to tie into like the dark cabinets and the lighter countertops. And so um, I love that we went with a dark navy cabinet. And this was another thing that was like a little bit outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> it went back and forth a little bit. They were almost green cabinets too. We um, were on the verge and we did a little bit yeah. of a vote and you guys picked the yeah. blue actually and uh, we decided for that so but we do have some green cabinets in other parts of the house so i'll show you that soon um but yeah i love the dark cabinets and we mostly are using a lot of drawer space down below and kind of keeping it open on top quite a bit we have a few over here but i love that we just have windows kind of overlooking the backyard and the garage here well, they're going to be washing dishes while looking mm -hmm. at the river which is pretty exciting i know it's such a great view if you gotta do dishes you might as well have a good view <laughs> yeah and i love this kind of antique brass looking faucet it kind of went with a little bit more of a vintage look and then the kids can come right here and get some fresh water and i think that that's really nice to kind of keep the kids out of the fridge where they're like spilling water and ice we've had problems with that in the past <laughs> so for them to be able to just come right here and get some water really easily is really nice and it's just all staying right here over the sink and then if you come down here another part that i love about our kitchen is this double oven from cafe Absolutely. it's the french doors here so i love that we have some peach there's a little peach <laughs> in there because we because it got really cold last night and yeah like, oh gosh, it was rainy and cold. yeah it was rainy and cold last night so we decided to make some peach cobbler in the oven so we've used it twice now um, even though we're not officially moved in <laughs> but it's really nice to kind of come over here in the evenings and be able to kind of hang out watch a, a show because we did bring the tv over as well but i love cooking in this already it's so cool it's like a smart oven you can just press it and go to all the different things it even does an air fryer it even option, has the air fryer yeah which we use air fryers all, all the, the time. time so i'm excited to see like how that works here 
um, but I love that little space. We have a few cabinets over this way, and then this is something we're still waiting on, <laughs> our naked refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to eventually have the panels that match the rest of the cabinets, but they were not ready quite yet. They're supposed to be in any day now. Um, and so we'll have a panel fridge here with some handles and I love this refrigerator. It doesn't yeah. look like much without the front on it, <laughs> but it's really beautiful on the inside. I'll yeah. give you a tour. We'll probably do like a grocery haul soon and I can show you guys kind of our pantry setup and our fridge setup and how we're doing that. But I'm very excited, a nice big refrigerator and we do have one downstairs as well for backup stuff. Um, so we'll show you that soon, but I love this whole area. And then over here, we're gonna put our espresso machine have some mugs, we'll put some dishes on this open area here. Um, this will be for like the nice dishes, like our nice white dishes, not all the kids stuff, so we can kind of keep it looking pretty, but I love that we have like an extra, just additional space here for things. So that... much counter space, mm -hmm. which yeah. is so nice after being in the RV. I know, we're like, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to fill all of this, probably yeah. eventually. Um, I, I see us living here forever, and so I'm sure that over the years we will be able to use the space a lot, but I love that there's so much cabinet space. Even on the back here of this island, mm -hmm. uh, you can open it up here and there's cabinets down here as well. Yeah, they just got these really cool latches as well that Amanda is yeah. <laughs> gonna get up on her. I Amanda got these them. really cool latches mm -hmm. and uh, there were a few of them all over, but she special ordered those and picked those out. I love just having like little touches that are kind of unique and just like more of like our, you know, vibe. And so I really loved kind of using some latches and just kind of mixing and matching some of the hardware, which we did throughout the rest of the house too. I also really love these bar stools right here that are leather and wood and they're really comfortable. They were easy to put together. We got them on, off of Amazon and so I'm going to be ordering a few more of those but I think that's going to be just perfect for all the kids to gather around the island. Mm -hmm. And then in here is our pantry. We have some kombucha being made, but we other than do. That. <laughs> My mom brought us some kombucha, and uh, but I love we have some open shelvings here. We'll put some baskets eventually down here to kind of organize. I'm excited to get really organized in this space, um, especially with seven kids. Like we go through food a lot, and so I want to have like a really nice setup here. So I'm excited to really make this space our own. Um, but then we also have a little uh, sink here as well, so we can kind of prep stuff or if we have people over and we need to like, you know, utilize this space. I just think that this is gonna be really handy for all of us. Mm -hmm. um, and then a little bit more storage here as well with some more cabinets. But yeah, I love this little pantry. You can see out over into the front yard here. And some people were saying like, that might not be a good design to have a window in the pantry, but it is under the porch. And so mm -hmm. there's not gonna be any direct sunlight coming in here. And it stays really cool. This is like a really cold room in the house. Nice. So I think it'll keep things pretty well. So the stairs lead upstairs to most of the kids' bedrooms. And then there's some more stairs over here that go downstairs to the basement. But first I'm gonna show you the rest of the main floor. But before you do that, I wanna point this out because uh, I love that we were able to put in a rail on both sides so that Lincoln can get up and down because he can only use yeah. his right hand. And we have these little lights for all the stairs as well. Yeah. And so and keep that on at night so that we never have any dark stairs. Mm -hmm. The kids are not gonna, you know, be at risk of falling down the stairs or anything. But Lincoln's doing really well going he up really and down is. these stairs. And so yeah, I'm I'm really glad that we we're able to do that. So come on down here and I'm gonna show you the mud room. So I also love this space. I mean, I love all of our spaces, but I love that we were able to put some hooks here and just kind of have a nice little area to organize the kids' school stuff, backpacks, shoes, jackets, all of that. We have nine hooks for the nine people in the family. Okay. And so that works out really well. Where, where are we gonna put the tent on? Oh yeah, we might have to start <laughs> sharing, but we'll see. <laughs> that's not an announcement. Yeah, that's not an announcement. <laughs> um, but I really do love this space, and I think it turned out really well. I love like the darker, the kind of, we try to match the kitchen cabinets, and so I like that, and I love the butcher block to have a little bit of accent there. Yeah. And then behind Steven over here is the half bath, and we have a little pocket door here. I liked having pocket doors on the main level quite a bit so that we can just like, if there's like a lot of doors and stuff, I didn't want them to all be banging into each other, so we did some pocket doors down here, and we have some green cabinets. The in green this makes its first appearance. Yes, I love it, and just like the wood mirror. I really love this light fixture. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get it all. Like, yeah, it's a little bright, but, like, but it's really cool looking. Yeah, I love it. another kind of like antique looking mm -hmm. fixture, and so I love that. But this is just a really easy area for the guests to come and use the restroom if they need to. And then the laundry room, which I love so much. I love the flooring that we did that kind of has like a wood and marble look to it. Mm -hmm. Kind of went for a fun pattern. That was another thing that was we kind of just 
we're outside of the box a little bit and I love vintage. Yeah, I originally had just kind of thought about like a herringbone pattern, like normal, like brick kind of thing, but I decided to go with a pattern that I think is really fun and um, it still ties into all the neutrals and all of that. But more green cabinets, copper faucet here, I really love it. You can spray down things that because there's a door right here that comes from the backyard. And the kids can come in after playing if they get really dirty or they've been playing in the creek. They can, you know, come in here and I can wash things down, throw things into the washer or dryer if necessary. And so I think this is going to just come in really handy with us having such a big outdoor in a creek. Um, I think that it's going to be nice for the kids to be able to like come in here. It's going to be nice for me to kind of try to keep things a little bit cleaner so they don't have to track it all the way through the house. So I really like that. I'm excited to get our washer and dryer in here. They're currently down in the basement and we are actually using them. <laughs> we are them. using them. No more trips yeah. to the laundromat. They're hooked Thank up. Um, our contractor hooked them up for us so that we can use them. Um, but we'll be moving them up here pretty soon. And so I'm excited to use this space. And then our master closet, which is attached to the laundry room. I love that. We have some pocket doors here to keep it closed off, but I love the way that this turned out. We do have a window here. And then this is Steven's side of the closet. He has drawers and hang up stuff and places for shoes. And then my side as well with some drawers and they'll have some bars here that we can hang things up. But I think this is just the perfect so amount nice. of space for us. You know, it's not like the hugest closet, but I think it's like exactly what we need. Yeah. And I love that we get to share, honestly. Yes. I think this is such a pretty space. And so I think this is like, it's exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> of all of the rooms in the house, I think I spent the most time like thinking through and trying to design this room. And I remember last year while I was still just like framing, I would come into this room and sit down here with like a little sketchbook and try to like map out exactly what I wanted this room to look like, which is so funny because it's just a closet, <laughs> but I, important, I put a lot of thought into this room. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very excited to be moving all of our clothes in and <laughs> being able to organize it. And I just, I think it's perfect. And then into the master bathroom, which is my dream bathroom. I'm so excited for the way that this turned out. I love this bathroom so much. And after living in an RV for a very long time, <laughs> I'm going to enjoy it all the more. But we have our double sinks here with these beautiful antique bronze faucets that come off the wall. So pretty. And these really beautiful mirrors that are from Magnolia. This is one of the first things I purchased for the house. Yeah, I think like it was the first thing. A year and a half ago, and I seen <laughs> them on sale, and I was like, oh, I could totally see this being in our master bathroom. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and bought two of them, and they've just been in storage for yeah. the longest time. But I love the way that they turned out. And I also love this little custom nook it's here. It's such a cool nook. Yeah, I saw some pictures of different bathrooms on like Instagram and house and stuff. And so um, I asked my contractor, can you please do this? And so we had to rework it a couple of it's times. It's like our fourth iteration of it, yeah. yeah. But I love the way it turned out. And also the bronze lights up here that tie in really well with everything that are also thoroughly dirty and need to be cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> but actually a cleaning crew is gonna be coming really soon before we have our move-in day and doing like a deep clean of everything because most of this stuff is like covered with drywall and just dust and all of that. So it does need a thorough cleaning, but I'm really happy with the way that this room turned out. I love the countertops, which are the same as the kitchen. Um, and so we've just matched that in here and I love the bronze hardware and we did the same dark navy cabinets mm -hmm. as the kitchen as well. Yeah. And that was another thing that we originally were gonna go with a different color, but we had so many light things in this room, so I decided to go with the dark cabinets in here and I think it turned out really that was well. A brilliant move, my love. <laughs> I also really love the herringbone pattern that we did on the floors here. Um, it's like an oversized tile, but we went ahead and did a herringbone pattern, and I love the way that it turned out. This was also something that was not in the original plan. I had a different tile ordered, and it never showed up, and yeah. so we were scrambling to find something else, and I think I got this from either Home Depot or Lowe's. It was really inexpensive, like a fraction of the cost of the other stuff, so yeah. I was happy that I was able to find it, and I just think it ties in really well. And now the shower. This is something that was really fun to work on. Um, I really was excited to have found this pattern of kind of wood looking tile on the walls. Um, this was from Wayfair and I'd seen it in a couple of pictures and I thought well, that was really a unique tile. Mm -hmm. and so I was very nervous to go with it, um, but I think it turned out really well. Mm -hmm. And I love the bronze hardware that ties in with it. And again, some more white tile. And the pattern on the floor here is really pretty as well. 
I'd, I have seen this pattern tile for maybe 15 years and I thought that I would always want to use it in a house. So I'm happy that we were able to do that here in the shower. Um, but I love the way that this turned out. We don't have the glass up yet. So that's yeah. something that we're still waiting on. There's just a couple things with the house that we're still waiting on. Mm -hmm. And the glass is one of those. Um, but I'm excited to kind of show you because it is a unique glass. So yeah. I think it is going to look really cool in here. Mm -hmm. So we'll obviously show you that later. We'll probably do like a furnished house tour later yeah. on down the line. And then we can kind of show you the final result of everything. But this is also a fun area of the bathroom. We have a linen closet here for storage, which is really nice. But I have a vanity Yay. one in one for so many years. I'm glad we were able to work this into the design. <laughs> so I'll be able to put a little stool here and I can get ready here. And I think the best part about this is that this is out of Steven's way. That's <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part of this. Yeah, picture. like he, he loves things to just be really spotless and beautiful. And I do too, but also there's real life and there's seven kids. And so a lot of times things don't necessarily get put away every single day. And so to kind of have an area here where I can have all of my girly products Big and stuff. Win. Yeah. Big win for both of us. I, I feel like this is just gonna be but great for our marriage. For me. Yeah. So I think this is like a, a marriage win right here. Yes. If you are designing a house, I would highly recommend putting this into place because I think it's just gonna be really nice. And then another pocket door here for the toilet room. And I just I love pocket doors. I think they're so fun. Women love pockets. I love pockets on dresses. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. But pocket doors are awesome. So the last part of the master bathroom has actually been quite a headache for us the past couple of months. Um, it's our beautiful master bathroom tub and faucet, but we have had a leak in the wall of this faucet and they have opened it up and redone it twice now and it is still leaking. And so that is one of the reasons that is holding us up on being able to move in and to have the occupancy permit is because this is still leaking. And so we are really hoping to get that fixed very soon. But I do love the way that it looks. So then into the master bedroom, and we did a really pretty green accent wall. It's a really dark green, but I really love it. We have a lot of light furniture, so I think that's gonna be like a really nice accent, as well as painting the door a dark color too. I think it's called Iron Door from Sherwin-Williams. That's kind of like the dark yeah. um, doors and that kind of stuff are Iron Door from Sherwin-Williams. I can't remember what this one is. It's also Sherwin Williams, but I think it's Garden something. I can't garden Rock or Rock Garden or something like that. But I love the green. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it looks really pretty with the black windows. And then one of my favorite parts of the whole house is this really pretty uh, fireplace that we designed. And I love the little cutout like this. It was one of the things that I asked our contractor to do, and it took a little bit of work to get it to look <laughs> like this. But I really love it. I think it's just kind of like unique. It has a little bit of character and personality to it. I just love that we have a fireplace in our bedroom. <laughs> that was like one of the big things that Stephen and I really wanted was a fireplace in the bedroom. We're gonna be using that every single night when it's the uh, fall, winter, or fall, fall and winter. Yeah, I'm summer, so excited about summer that. Summer will just turn the air down. <laughs> Probably not in the summertime. <laughs> but then there's some little cutouts here too. We can have some shelves and so I think that this is just a really cute little area. I'm excited to decorate it and design it and all of that. Um, but then we also have an office that is connected here and the, we designed it this way on purpose so that it could kind of be hidden away. It could be a quiet place to go if someone needs to work or we have some things to do where we need to not be interrupted all the time. Um, so I really love this space right here and we put some cabinets in here and have a little desk area and we have a freezer, so Stephen loves to do like mixed drinks and that kind of thing, and he can do like a special little um, ice balls and that kind of stuff, and maybe have a little stash of ice cream <laughs> if you can get a hold of. I find that my favorite ice creams tend to go missing, and so yes. I actually think I probably will put some stuff in here. Lock it, um, which we'll need to, because yeah. you can just discover that you put your ice cream in there already. Yeah, there is a lot there too, <laughs> so it kind of comes in handy when you have teens. Not that I think any of my teens would sneak anything, but I think just kind of having like an adult space where the kids can't get into it, especially if um, without permission, like I think that's going to be really nice to be able to have that. And we have a little sink area in here as well, um, but we'll probably put a desk in here, and this is would also be a perfect space for a nursery if that ends up being necessary. Um, I could totally see the little crib over here on this accent wall. Speaking of the accent wall, uh, this is really the pretty. Accent wall. Yeah, I, we we kind of went round and round. We went through a few iteration,s and this yeah. was the one that we landed on. Yeah, we did like some zigzags and stuff, and we decided like it was just a little too busy, so we kind of kept it 
simple and classic, but I love it. And again, it's the iron ore color from Sherwin Williams, but I love that. And I love that we have the double doors that go out to just a small little patio here. Um, and we still have the RV here right now because we have a moved in, but that will eventually be moved um, to a different part of the property. We have some acres on the other side, so that will go over there. But we have some chairs here, and I love that we'll be able to sit here and we can watch the kids play basketball. Um, we're gonna be hanging up a really big tire swing for the kids, so we'll be able to do that. And just kind of watch them run and play, and um, so I love that. And then down the hall here, we have a closet for storage. And then let's go upstairs and see the kids' rooms. Before we do that real quickly, I want to point out this oh my really gosh. cool herringbone pattern. I didn't even show you guys the entry. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> this was actually a big deal because they ended up forgetting to put the herringbone yeah. in. And then they ripped it up and did it after the fact. <laughs> um, but I love the way that the herringbone yeah. turned out with the white oak. Um, and we do have a really big uh, coat closet coat here. Closet. The very um, tall doors, which I love. I very love all the tall, tall doors. Really cool um, light in the entry. Yeah. That's a lot it. of cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, down here is where the basement is, and we've got some windows here, and then upstairs is to the kids' bedrooms. So let's go there first. Let's go. Okay, so upstairs we have four bedrooms and an extra large hallway. Then we have like a cold nook area. So I'm gonna show you the boys' stuff first. So in here is the boys' bathroom, and I really like how this turned out. We have some black hardware, a black and white pattern tile here on the floor. And then we have two sink areas, which is really great since we have four boys. So we can kind of spread that out a little bit. I love the wooden mirrors and the black lights and the dark cabinets again. We went with kind of a little bit of a darker theme here. But we will definitely bring in some pops of color with the shower curtain and the towels and really make this a fun boy space. Another thing that I love with the kids' bathtubs is that these are extra deep bathtubs. And I really wanted to find something, especially because we have a lot of older kids, I wanted to find some large bathtubs um, that were still kind of the Alpo style. And so I really like this kind of a little bit more modern, square, straight edges, um, but it's extra deep so that they can just have like a nice soaking bath if they want to. We are fans of Epsom salt and bow baths and all of that. And so all of our kids are able to have that. So this house is technically six bedrooms and that is all that it would perk for. So unfortunately we were not able to build a house where everyone has their own room um, but most families have kids share rooms and that's I not shared a room I shared life. a room too I had three sisters have three sisters and so that's just kind of part of life and we asked our kids like who doesn't mind sharing a room who really would like to have their own room and what we discovered is that the boys didn't really care about sharing rooms and the girls really wanted their own private space and I think that's because the girls spend a lot more time inside and the boys are outside doing sports and playing with the neighbors and riding bikes and uh, playing in the creek and all of that and so we went ahead and had the two larger rooms be the rooms that are shared and Jude and Liam share a room and have kind of a teen space and then Ethan and Lincoln are going to share a room and then the girls get their own spaces but their rooms are a little bit smaller so that's just kind of how it worked out everybody's really happy with that plan but we do plan to let the kids really design their own rooms and put some personal touches on it and so I'm really excited with the way that they're going to turn out so we'll kind of show you the empty shelves right now and then like we said later on we'll be able to do like a decorated home tour so Ethan and Lincoln's room that they are sharing is one of the bigger rooms and we have a really fun bunk bed that is actually supposed to arrive in the next couple of days so that's gonna be really fun to be able to put that together for them but plenty of space for them to share and still be able to spread out we have a nice big closet here with some built-in drawers so we'll hopefully be able to keep things reasonably organized in there um, we'll have a bar hanging there for some clothes and then in their room it's really fun because they have like a little clay closet and they're calling it their Lego closet. So <laughs> I think that that's gonna be fun, a fun space to put some of the toys and be able to organize. Um, that was gonna be attic space, but we were like, hey, I'm pretty sure we could like utilize that space. So that'll be a fun one for the little boys. And then Jude and Liam also have one of the bigger rooms and we're planning on getting two different loft beds for them with desks underneath. So they have their own kind of space to rest and to work and relax and all of that. And then they each have their own closets here. So they'll each have their own little drawer space and hanging space and um, it's nice that even though they're sharing a room, they do kind of have separate things that they can, you know, uh, enjoy. And so it's 
So that's really nice. I, I think that's going to be really helpful with them still feeling like they have their own space to put their things and be able to enjoy. And then this was a fun little idea that we decided because the hallway was so wide, it's not really big enough for like a game room, but we thought we could at least put some nice storage here, have a couple of desks for like a creative space for them to color or maybe put some computers here and um, that will just be kind of fun for the kids to be able to have like an additional space to work and play. And then this is Kira's space and we went ahead and let her have first dibs on which route she wanted to pick because if you guys remember the home tour of the rental house that we did, she was the one that gave up one of the rooms that she really wanted to take the smaller room and so we told her you get a pick in the new house <laughs> and so she picked this room. It's a little bit smaller but it overlooks the creek. It has a great All view good views. and All she wanted the, the natural sunlight and like the evening the afternoon sun comes straight in here and so she's really happy with this space she's um, got her own built-ins as well yes her own little closet as well we did drawers in all of the kids rooms um so that's really nice to just kind of stay organized and then we don't have to put dressers in any of the rooms as yeah well. saves a lot of money that way yeah for the girls bathroom we did a jack and jill bathroom so they each have their own little sink area we went ahead and went with a natural wood color in here and these really pretty black mirrors and again the faucets that come off the back of the side here i feel like those are going to just be easier to clean mm -hmm. you know like the faucets that are like on the sink and i feel like it's just yeah. so hard to kind of get in there and clean mm -hmm. it so we just went with all of the ones on the wall there um, and then their shower here which is identical to the boys with the deep tub and the white tile um, just kind of a classic look um, but I really like it. So the tub and the toilet are in here. And then Penelope has her own space as well with again, the black uh, mirror Identical. and yeah. the wood vanity and all of that. And then the white tile. I really like how it turned out. Mm -hmm. And then Penelope's room here, I think is the brightest room in the house. It's got yeah. uh, windows on two sides of the walls. Um, and she has a view out to like where the kids play and the basketball court and all of that. And again, another walk-in closet with the built-ins. And so, yeah, I think this is a great space for the girls to be able to have, share a bathroom. I think the kids are really excited that the boys and girls have separate bathrooms yes. in this house. And so that has worked out really well, but I think that they're really going to be able to enjoy this space. <laughs> Should I take over the home tour? At I this think point? so. My voice is getting a little dry. So I think that <laughs> Steven can take it from here and he can <laughs> show us the basement. Remember when this was like a dungeon? A dungeon, and like you thought you were going to die. When you came yeah. Back. We did add some windows in here that kind of overlook the front porch. I felt like that was going to be a nice touch because yeah. I didn't want it to feel like a really yeah. dark stairway. Well, it couldn't feel better than it does now. So yes. So we here's... have vinyl flooring, light wood, to really brighten the place up. We have our own little kitchenette. If you remember before, this was very dark and cobwebby and rusty and full of water. Mm -hmm. And now we have this lovely little kitchenette. So Reese will be down here. She may put a kitchen table of some sort. Mm -hmm. And then she'll have a couch. And then this mantle will eventually be on there. And We've got a fireplace in the basement, guys, Yay. which is pretty sweet. So uh, we also have a full bath down here that is quite lovely. I love these lights that Reese picked out. Mm -hmm. Her whole bathroom, she picked out a lot of her furnish, including this hex uh, uh, deal on the ground, whatever that's called, tile. And uh, it's just a really cool bathroom and mm -hmm. a lot of room. There, I was sad that we lost the blue uh, the powder blue sink, <laughs> yeah, I was bathtub, not. and our nice little uh, Olympic gymnastic drinks. But like, <laughs> this is actually a great, great place to get ready. And another soaking tub for Miss Reese, which she definitely is going to enjoy. So then Reese is going to be down here. This is sort of her 20 year old area. She'll be 20 in October. So we wanted to give it a really a lot of light. She's got a triple window right here. She's got this really cool light she picked out. And then she designed her walk-in closet, which is very spacious as well. If you guys saw our last vlog, we actually just got a new dog. His name is Angus. He's amazing. Yay. If you haven't already seen that, vlog make sure you go back and watch that welcome him to the family he's our newest <laughs> killer but this is where he is staying at night we yeah. have the rv still and there's not a lot of room he wouldn't be very comfortable in there but he is an indoor dog so he stays here at night and then i get him up in the morning take him for a walk and we just hang out all day long <laughs> and we're going to be moving in anytime soon so yeah this is just a little bit of a temporary thing 
but he loves it anyway, so. Yeah. So there is an actual covered patio out here as well with a two-way fireplace, which is pretty sweet as well. It's not done yet, so we're not gonna show you that, but we'll show you later when it is finally finished. Yeah. But it's a walkout basement. They can go down to the creek, they can walk upstairs, whatever. It's gonna be pretty amazing when it's done. It's gonna be a fun teen space for the yeah, kids too. For sure. And eventually a pool on the other side of that fireplace yes. so or we can have more hot stuff. Hot Maybe a nursery. <laughs> <laughs> That's the garage. All garages are the same. So we're not going to show you that. This is the gym, which has our first awesome thing in it right now. Mm -hmm. This is a sweet, modest vintage player, six foot punching bag that's going to hang right here. Yep. We'll have the rower uh, from Argata. It's like a really cool wood rower that we've got. All kinds of stuff. This would be a great place for me and for the kids to uh, work out. And, and, and uh, <laughs> I was like, what the heck? rock and roll as well. For the whole for family. For the whole family. We'll yeah. have a little TV right here. Mm -hmm. The girls are like, we need to put mirrors everywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a great little space though. We did the iron ore. I'm going to put out like an American flag up. This is also the room when we have like really bad storms that we go to. Yes. Um, you remember like when the, the interior wall. This is yeah. Bad. When the, when when the house was only halfway done and there was a tornado coming through and we came down here and there was like standing water, but this is built into the side of the hill and so yeah. we were the safest here and yeah. uh, so we've already spent one tornado down here. But this is this also is what flooded a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. because they didn't they hadn't fixed the grading yet. The grading has been fixed. We're yes. good to go in here, but this is the gym so then we're going to cross over here we have a nice little area right here i love this butcher block yeah we over. we've got uh, harry potter's bedroom under here uh, so he's having a good time and then we've got our doomsday pantry in here lots of room for lots of good things eventually we'll, we're going to buy some these are going to be upstairs these are our nice washer and dryer we'll have a different washer and dryer here and then like a deep freeze mm -hmm. so that we can like buy a cow <laughs> for ourselves because we love meat and uh, have lots and lots of meat and all kinds of good stuff and then the guest bedroom which is a it has its own door this is sort of the mother-in-law father-in-law suite as it were for when they come to visit uh, when we have company they can come in here. It's not technically a bedroom, it's not a closet, but uh, it can be a place that we can host guests. Yes. And it just goes straight out to the driveway, which yes. is pretty awesome. It's nice to, for them to be able to kind of enter in their own little separate yeah. entry area. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, did you just get kids. back from a walk? Yeah. Hi, yeah. Angus. Good. Did you guys take him on a walk? Yeah. That's so nice. You got That's sweaty, sweaty, didn't yeah. you? He's sweaty, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> did you get sweaty? sweaty too. Did you say you went in the water again? Yeah. yeah. Oh he likes the water, He's doesn't he? I, I like your shirt. Did you jump in the water? You look very handsome. Oh, gosh. And we went with vinyl floors in the basement because not only is it um, great for like damp basements that yeah. tend to have a little bit more moisture, but it's also very pet friendly, <laughs> isn't it, Angus? Yes, it is. And you're such a good boy. Come here, buddy. Good job. Okay, guys, so the reason that we bought this property and renovated this house for the past two years, the reason it is worth it is because of this view in the backyard and the creek. So let me show you guys one of our favorite parts of this whole thing. So that's it guys, this is our dream home property that we have poured our blood, sweat, and tears and into. And prayers. And so many prayers, so <laughs> many prayers, and so many prayers from you guys I know as well. Thank you for all of the encouragement along the way. This has been a tough process, but yeah. so worth it, and I'm so grateful that we are gonna be moving in soon. Lincoln, are you so excited? <laughs> yeah. We are so excited that we'll be able to move out of the RV into <laughs> this home very soon. As soon as we can get the plumbing issue fixed and have the inspector sign off, 
We will be moving into this home. We're hoping just within a few days here. So please pray with us that that is the case, that it is just a couple days longer and that we'll be able to move in. But we're so excited to be able to share this whole process with you guys and very excited for all of the memories that we're going to be making in this home and sharing many of those with you guys as well. But yeah, it's just a dream come true and we're so incredibly grateful. What do you guys think about the house finally being done? I think it was really worth it. Is it. Was it worth it? Yeah, it's definitely yes. worth, worth it. Yeah. I think we're going to love it more, you know? We're going to love it so much more that now that and we've had to took, work so yeah. hard for it. And yeah. It took two years, but it was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> two long years. You guys, when we started this process, you guys were so little. You were like, yeah. you literally were shorter than me. Oh. And you guys were How all like, yeah. I know. You were shorter crazy? than me, too. Yeah. <laughs> and and all of you, your voices were like so much higher. <laughs> and you were. You were so little, Ethan, and Leaky was still so much of a baby, and now he's, he's just, just like, such a big kid. boy. Hi. You wanted to stay inside in the air conditioning? He's like, it's too hot out here. Okay, Mommy will help you. We'll, we'll go this way. Say, Jesus and juice boxes. I love that t-shirt. Do you want to come out or in? Close your eyes. In? Okay, bye. Oh, you want to come out? Okay. He's like, I changed my mind. You can play with Angus. The Angus is his favorite. Oh. <laughs> silly. You're so silly. I did forget to mention that here is where we're gonna put the dining table and like the smoker and grill over on this side. And then we have a mostly finished but not quite finished fireplace here for the outside. And we'll be having like a little screened in porch here. So that will be really nice. We did just spray for mosquitoes right here. And so that has actually gotten rid of probably 90% of them, 95%. We haven't been bit a whole lot lately, so that's good. Um, so we were able to enjoy the outdoors a little bit more without all the bugs, but that's just like a once a month treatment that they come and do. Did you get a bug bite though? But I love this outdoor area so much and yeah, we still have a few things here we need to clear away, but the kids can come in from the back over here and straight into the laundry room and clean up. And so this is such a great space for us. Once all the grass grows in, it'll mm -hmm. be like amazing. I know. I'm so excited. Oh, Angus. <laughs> He's like, let me just climb in your lap here. You're such a good boy, Angus. We are already in love with this boy. But we're going to go ahead and close it out here, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on our little home yeah. tour. We hope you enjoyed it. We can't wait to show you guys more in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 For your namesake, you will lead me back.